Hey, Claude Pollan here, Affiliate Star and I. Welcome. This is going to be a continuation of uh, a look into the Market Samurai re Keyword Research Tool. And this time we're going to look into how you do long tail keyword research. To do that, you would come in and depending on how you had selected your niche, we did in a prior lesson drums, so I'll continue with that. Let's say uh, your seed keyword was drum set, and let's see what long tail keywords we can find for that theme keyword. So we would come in and actually create a new project. Well, let's call it drum set. We'll create it. So there it is. This time, just like you would uh, when you're keyword researching a keyword, you come into key the keyword research, what I would call homepage. And here you have the synonym tool with the include the additional. That's what we normally use when we do the research. And it, the difference here is that we would also select the Google search keywords. So once that's done, we would come over here and generate keywords. If we get the CAPTCHA, we enter that in. And it will now go look for long tail keywords. Now, normally when you do your keyword research to, with the synonym tool and the SEO traffic uh, set in, in the default, you get about 200 keywords. You'll notice here we have 461 keywords that it came back with, including the, search, the Google search keywords, so that we've got double, a little over double the, the number of keywords available, and obviously a lot of them are long tail. So we're going to hit analyze down here to bring back our traffic, our PBR, and I'm going to turn off the value. And so there we have our SEOT, our traffic information, and our PBRs. Now for filtering, when you're looking for long tail keywords, you'll come into your SEO traffic filter, and instead of 80 searches per day, we're going to put, look for 10. It's a long tail keyword. It probably won't have the same amount of demand. So, and but we're going to set our PBR to 15, just like we did in the prior search, and we're going to refresh the filter. So that takes it down by uh, 29 filtered out. And then we're going to come over here and take a look at the traffic. So we're going to click Analyze. And then we'll go out and search the traffic information for this list of long tail keywords. And when it does come back with the traffic data, we are going to set the same parameter that we set when we were doing the normal keyword research process, and that is we're going to set it to uh, 30,000 competitive pages. So if a specific keyword we're interested in is in the list, we want to make sure that is it within the parameters of that 30,000 SEOC competition filter. It's coming back now with the SEO competition data. Sometimes it works faster than others, but we're about halfway there. So the difference here is that we set our traffic parameter at 10 and not 80. The phrase to broad match parameter remains the same at 15, and the SEO competition filter also remains the same at 30,000 pages. It's almost done. This will give us an idea of... Uh, so, so far uh, we've got 400 active potential long-term keywords, but we haven't filtered out by competition yet. 
Okay, we're there. So now I'm going to come up here to the filter, set it at 30,000. Refresh. And now it removed another 300. So we're down to 129 active potential long-term keywords available. Now, drum set, as you'll notice, is my theme keyword. So I'm not going to worry about that. What we do now is we filter by, we'll select by competition. You can notice if you click here, you can click to get the, the highest level of competition at the top of the column. Or when you click again, you'll get the lowest. And so we'll start with the lowest and work our way up. And, you know, we see here that um, the first act, five, the first act, five piece drum sets got 306, potentially 12 searches. I add another filter and I'm going to come over here and add the SEO value. This uh, tells you whether or not a keyword has commercial value. And it does it by multiplying the search traffic by the cost per click that uh, AdWords has for that keyword. And it comes back with a potential value of what that keyword is worth. The logic being if somebody's paying real money to, for a keyword, they wouldn't be paying that money unless they were making money. So that means that keyword is generating revenue. Now I notice here that this SEOV is set at zero, which means this potential keyword, even though it has low competition and it's within the parameters, doesn't have any commercial value, so I get rid of it. And I come down here and I see two, three more, I get rid of those. I really don't want any keywords that aren't generating potential revenue. And there's another one. So all of the keywords left now on the list can generate some level of revenue. You can actually filter it if you want. Uh, they normally teach you to filter minimum $5. Sometimes I go to $10. It depends on the niche. Um, if I filter at 10, I'm going to lose some more keywords, but you know what? That's not bad. Okay. So this leaves me with some long tail keywords that potentially I could optimize for and get extra searches coming to my, to my site. At the same time, I know that some of these are generating revenue. Now here's one that generates a pretty decent piece of revenue. It's got $103.17, so, so there are people paying for this. This also might be a, a measure of competition. It might be harder to compete for this. Specific drum set, but you know, it's got the, a, a low number of uh, competitive pages, decent PBR, and 74 visits. That's pretty good. It's Almost four, almost four times, three and a half times the visits of these other two uh, keywords and uh, not much more in competition, but certainly a lot more in profitability. So you can filter these. Here's one that's got 200 in the first act drum set. It's got 249 visits, PBR. You know, look at this uh, commercial value. So you can look at these and determine which of the long-term keywords you might want to optimize for if it makes sense for your niche and, uh, you know, pick the number that you want and add up the number of potential more searches you'll get and there you are. So this is how you use the Market Samurai tool for long tail keywords and how you can evaluate those keywords uh, to integrate into your campaign and optimize for your site and bring more traffic to your site. So that's it. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Pilon at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.